Okay. We've had some good donations on the 4th of July. Um, no one will uh, I think we're at a little over uh, $100 right now. Probably donations and more going out. I know uh, Chief has gone out asking for donations along with Jeff. Council have uh, any idea what they want to spend on fireworks this year? Because it's coming up. And uh, we also have to discuss um, are we going to have a float? If not, we need to know about that. Let's see, when, when we, uh, how much was donated? Do you remember? The amount? Almost $1,000, sir. It's like $1,100. We have the bounce house coming. We have the work slide coming. Uh, we have the, uh, I'm going to say this right, the, uh, what is it called, a raffle? Is it 50 50? It's 50 50. Yeah, chance. Yeah, chance. <laughs> Now, 50 50 should generate a lot of money and it comes back to the city. Yeah. So, uh, those two right back there will be selling the tickets. Um, we're going to have a cakewalk. There's a pet contest that's going to be uh, ran by Dr. Sosa. Um, we're going to put out all the, uh, the particulars, but we're going to have um, Best Patriotic Costume. Best trick and owner and pet look alike. <laughs> so that should be interesting. Um, we're going to have a lot of games out there for the kids. Um, the city's going to sell the water. And uh, I'm going to purchase that water. The, uh, we've got six quarter parties coming from Milo. And today, uh, Jeff asked um, Mrs. Scarborough to keep out there and put out 12, 12, he said 12, 12 garbage containers to do uh, no cost to the city. So, yeah, he's, 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 he's going to be in the break. And he's going to be in the break. Mm -hmm. So, um, things are coming together on that. But we have got to come out with a, uh, an amount for the fireworks. How soon do we have to purchase those fireworks? Well, uh, sometime this month. Sooner the better now, right? Before um, they all get gone. And I know that they have some, some people that uh, work over there that said that it was a really good discount. Uh, yesterday, they've been knowing me for about 26 years. We were getting, when, the, when it comes to when it says senior manager when we purchased those things, right. they need to get this before. Do you remember how much we spent last year? <coughs> I think we had. $3,500. Um, it wasn't last year, the year before last year. No, it was last year. The year before last year, we didn't have Oh, yeah, okay. I said have a last year with that rain, but we pulled through. Um, would council be okay with uh, going with the same amount, $3,500? No. I'd like to know how much we budgeted. We had, what is the budget uh, under? It's not just 
fireworks. There's, there's something else under that um, under that expenditure. Well, we got to buy that permit. Okay. How much is that permit? What I suggest is uh, when we have our quiet meeting, we'll have Ms. Ann come and we'll make the decision at that, at that meeting so we can better understand what we're looking at. Okay? Council do with that? Okay. And hopefully we'll have more donations coming in. Um, we're going to uh, be doing some radio advertising. We're going to look up some posters. And uh, we're going to have a, hopefully, a really good 4th of July. Um, the one bad thing that has happened, and we're working on it, is our DJ had his uh, equipment stolen. So we can't use that DJ. Um, I know that the city might be better off buying its own equipment for, for events rather than relying on others to do it. Um, I did a little research on that. The DJ is about anywhere from five to six hundred dollars and the equipment runs about the same. And if the city uh, can manage it, they might be better off buying the equipment than having the DJ come out every time and spending six hundred dollars. Well, you're talking about a system that we had like last year. Mr. Tanner, uh, you're, well, you're talking to things like four and five thousand dollars. Well, I went out, I went online and looked at some, some systems. We're talking about four thousand watts, two speakers. What size speakers? Uh, they were pretty pretty health, healthy speakers. Um, and that system was about six fifty. I don't, I don't know the quality of the brand, but I'm just telling you that. Um, you need to know the size of the speakers. So but I know that kind of right. Well, it comes with the speakers to handle the 4,000 watts. But if, if we do anything less, because I know Joey was doing what, 4,000, 4,500 watts? Yes. And he had, like, he had uh, that head, he had, uh, I think, two. Big speakers that had two fifteens each in size. So if we if we're gonna have the same amount or more people, we're gonna need to reach out to them. 
So um, I know I know you were looking at a system out of uh, well, it, I mean it get what Mr. Tanner had. Now I can have if you'll come up there to the store, I'm not gonna get involved in it, but uh, he can show you what you need and give you the best price we can get better than what you can get online. Let me uh, I'm also gonna talk to a DJ this Friday, see so what they want to charge. Uh, maybe we can slide by this year and maybe budget next year for, for a sound system. So we're doing Christmas, we're doing uh, events around the city. We probably need our own sound system. Uh, be better than keep going out and paying people to do it. So something to think about. Um, I'll get back to the council on the uh, <coughs> on the DJ. And is Joey actively looking for a DJ as well? Uh, yeah, he told me he was. Yes. Okay. What about music? Uh, live music. Do we have uh, that band? Uh, they cannot. They, they can't. Now, I'm still checking on the one for a parade for uh, the Bluegrass Band. Okay. I asked them, but they'd have to get back to me. I hope to see them tomorrow, and maybe I can get a commitment out of them tomorrow. Okay. I think uh, Kathy Walker is going to be looking for a live band that will be playing from like 3 to 5 or something like that. So we still, we still have some work to do on this. Well, so, you think if they get a live band, we might could use their PA set to yeah. pay them a little extra money. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they have, but um, that's that's a possibility. So we'll have to uh, come back and talk about this. Have we approached um, Georgia Panel or somebody like that and ask them to sponsor the uh, music for Fourth of July? We do a lot of business with them. We don't ask much from them. You have some contracts over there? Same ones you have. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh. I mean, they do, they sponsor stuff all the time. They sponsor lunches and things that we don't even participate in. And they may just, I mean, we're a small city. We're not asking for much. I don't know, $500, $600. That's like peeing in the ocean. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's well. like spitting in the ocean. You know, they have all this money set aside. and. Maybe they would sponsor. They're big enough that they could do. Instead of you know asking a smaller business in our area to do it, which might that's a lot of money for a small business. I mean I don't know. Maybe Kathy's already no. I mean we went to a luncheon one cool. time where they spent more than that. Right. Well, Kathy's really working on the on the parade. Um, do you still have those phone numbers of those uh, those kind of yeah. things? They must be my little thing, I guess. I'll take a look at them. So we can do some calling. Anything else on the 4th of July? Are we going to do anything with a, a float or are we going to uh, just do our own vehicles? I guess our own vehicles. Let me get on the 4th of July, we're going to have that. session we're going to talk about the uh, Mr. Peterson talk about what we have available on yeah mm -hmm. okay. we sure are. because I don't want to talk to Lima I want to, I want to know exactly where we're at okay so let's move on beginning 21